Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. Um, I just wanted to hop on here right quick and do a quick tutorial or just a good, I guess a pressing maybe. Um, purchased a sublimation jigsaw puzzle from a local craft store today and I just wanted to try it out. And of course I wanted to share with you all, this is my first time doing it. So I have no clue what I'm doing. But I said, let's go ahead and make a video. Um, so as you can tell, we're going to sublimate a jigsaw puzzle. I promise you guys, I am going to get better with adding titles to my um, videos. So I'm going to show you the puzzle. This is what the puzzle looks like. You can see the, the little pieces in there. Um, I got this from my local craft store, Craft Closet. This was a small one, so they only charged two dollars for it. Um, I don't know what the other side of it is made out of, but it's supposed to be for sublimation, so I hope it works. There were no instructions with it, so of course, I went to um YouTube and found a video where a guy was sublimating a puzzle. So I hope this works. So I'm gonna press it down, make sure nothing is separating uh the image i'm going to use today is this right here this is a picture of my mom and my dad and it says back together again i lost my mom in june of this year and i lost my father in may of 2018 and so i, I like this picture so i want to go ahead and experiment with that the dimensions of my puzzle are let me take my because i know a lot of people want to know sometimes how do you get the measurements of your items so i just got this little bitty tape measure so the tape the it's like seven and a half inches wide and it is five and a half inches high um and so i do just a little bit over um so it's a little bit bigger so I'm going to take, and then I made a mistake, y'all. Look what I did. I'm using the De Jet Cold DHS sublimation paper that I also purchased from there, but I put my paper in backwards um, <laughs> and didn't realize until it had completely printed that I did it backwards. And so I'm like, yeah, we're not wasting paper. So I flipped it over on the correct side for it to print. So I'm going to place this on the puzzle and i'm just gonna tape it down to my butcher paper i've got butcher paper on my heat press and i'm going to place a piece of butcher paper on top of this um because i gotta protect my teflon sheet on top of my heat press the directions were 400 for, I think he said 60 seconds. I'm scared to do it for that long. My heat press right now is at 397. So we're going to press this down and we're going to close our eyes and pray. Hopefully it'll work. Um, Cause I know there are places that sell those, um, puzzles and they're like anywhere from 19 20 and up so i figured you know let me go ahead and try this that way i can do this for myself and then you know i can probably add this to my etsy store because i'm trying to expand and add different crafts to my store so i can do something outside of t-shirts so just like i said i'm experimenting with this now i got the heat press set to go for 60 seconds i believe but i'm not gonna let it get all the way to 60 seconds because i'm terrified i'm pretty sure whatever this is made out of it has been treated uh to be able to withstand this type of heat for this amount of time um but i'm terrified and of course it was only two dollars so you know if it's a fail it was only a two dollar fail but i still wanted to try because i think these would be cute for uh christmas gifts so we're gonna go ahead, um, lift that up. Uh, let's see here. And of course, you know, it probably came all the way through to my 
paper. So let's lift this up. And guys, you know, when you're sublimating, you're using a really hot temper. Oh, wow. I couldn't even finish my statement. I'm so excited. That's so cute. I love the way that turned out. Let me pick this up and put it on something because I am not trying to burn my hands. Um, you can kind of see where the ink from the other side transferred over. So that's not a good idea to, to do that. But look at that. That turned out great. This is so cute. Um, I don't know if you can see right here from where I used the other side where I messed up and printed. So you can kind of see where that ink bled through to the other side of the paper. Um, so note to self, if you mess up and print on a piece of sublimation paper backwards, just throw it away. Don't try to reuse it because it will bleed through on the other side. But here we go again. You know, this was an experiment and it was only a $2 puzzle. Um, this is amazing. I love that. I'm excited. So I bought two more. I bought heart shaped ones. So of course, this will be something I'll be adding to my, my shop. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. Comments are always appreciated and loved. So if you just wanted to say, hey, if you just want to drop a comment, whatever it is, go ahead and drop it. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get notified when I upload a video. Um, but thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. I will be uploading videos in the near future and I'm working on my editing skills. So if anybody has any tips on editing videos, go ahead and drop those for me. But until the next video, stay safe and we will talk soon. Bye.